Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed an automated system to help you win big every single time and it does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So before we get into some uh, Major League Baseball picks for July the 18th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section which has all the tools you need to help make your picks successfully every time. So we are more than halfway through the Major League Baseball season as the second half is underway. And we have some good games in store for you, so we're going to take a look at some of them for Sunday, July the 18th. So let me scroll down through here. The Marlins and the Phillies. The Mets and the Pirates. It's a full slate of games. We're not going to look at every one of them. we got the Padres and the Nationals. We're going to take a look at this matchup here. See, the Padres enter average down at the moment, and the Nationals have dead status. You can see that the Padres are 3-3 three and three over their last six. And the Nationals are 1 and 5 over their last 6. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Padres are plus 15 to plus 3. The Padres are on a downward trend. And the Nationals are pretty stable. If you look at the totals predictor, if you're betting the over and under, you can see that the Padres are trending in games slightly over the line. Washington over the line as well. That's generally an indication to bet the over. But let's take a look at what the scores predictor shows here. The scores predictor has an, an 8 to 4 edge for the uh, Padres with a 63% probability. Well, not probability, uh, confidence, 63% confidence. Joe Musgrove is on the mound for the Padres. Washington has not yet named its starting pitcher. You see, Musgrove is 5 and 7 with a 2.93 ERA. And you can see on the pitcher profit oscillator, he is a slightly better than average bet at plus $28. What I believe is going to happen here, I am in agreement with the prediction of an 8-4 to four score, and I think betting the over is the way to go, so let's pick the Padres and the over. The Rangers and the Blue Jays. The next game we want to look at here as we scroll down and through, you can see it's a full slate of games, Tampa Bay and Atlanta Braves. The Rays are second in the American League East, and the Braves are third in the National League East. Tampa Bay is burning hot down at the moment. You can see that they have won five out of their last six. Let me show this here. There we go, five out of their last six. They did lose their last game before the All-Star break, and the Braves are averaged down at the moment, and they are three and three over their last six. Rich Hill is scheduled to pitch for Tampa Bay, and the Braves have not yet named their starting pitcher. Hill is 6-4 with a 3.74 ERA, and if you look here, he is a solid bet at plus $68 on the pitcher profit oscillator. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that both teams have been on upward trend and now have leveled off. Tampa Bay at plus 29, and Atlanta at plus 24. If you're considering the over and under, you look at the totals predictor, and you see that Tampa Bay is playing in games trending under the line. They were playing in games trending over the line recently, but now are under, and Atlanta has been trending under the line for a bit of time. You see all the way back to June the 27th, they have been trending under ever since. It's a good indication to bet the under, but let's take a look at what the totals predictor says. Excuse me, the scores predictor, and you can see here that's an also good and a good indication. Even though the confidence of the prediction is only 46%, it still has Tampa Bay at four to three score. I believe that as this gets closer to game time, this confidence in the prediction will increase, and I still believe that Tampa Bay is the better team. I do look for the the race to win, edge the Braves in a low scoring game, and bet the under. Houston, Chicago. San Francisco and St. Louis. This is a good National League matchup here. The Giants are entering hot. They are burning hot at the moment. You can see they have won their last four. As soon as we can get this up. It's not cooperating. There we go. They've won their last four and, and four and two over their last six. The Cardinals are average status at the moment, and they are three and three over their last six. Johnny Cueto is scheduled to pitch for the Giants, and the Cardinals have not yet named their starter. Cueto enters with a 6-5 and five record and a 4.15 ERA. If you look at the pitcher profit also, you can see he is at plus 235, so he has been a good, solid bet. If you look at the totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under, you see that here is San Francisco trending slightly over, and you see that the Cardinals are trending in games under the line. 
Let's see what the scores predictor shows us. The scores predictor shows that's a very large nine to two edge for the car uh, for the Giants, excuse me, but with only 33 percent confidence in predictions. So that's a very low percentage in confidence. Again, check as it gets closer to game time to see if that has changed. And so far, the odds for any of these games have not yet been posted. That should be tomorrow. Uh, recording this on Friday, so this should be tomorrow, Saturday, a day before the games on Sunday. So overall, though, I believe that the Giants will continue their winning ways. They are a hot team, and I believe it will be by a less margin, though, than what the scores predictor indicates, but bet the Giants. And do not take the over or under. I would say just to avoid the over under in this case. The Dodgers and the Rockies. Indians and Athletics. Mariners and Angels. Next one we want to look at it here is this. The Cubs and the Diamondbacks. Arizona is really struggling. Uh, they're average down at the moment. They are 3-3 three three over the last six. But they're in the last place in the National League West. The Cubs are ice cold down. They have not played well either. They are 2-4 and four over their last six. But they have the third best mark in the National League Central. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here that the Cubs are on the upward trend here, but they are at plus, uh, let's see, they are at plus 11, and the Diamondbacks downward trend, and they are at plus 10. If you're considering the over and under, which we always do in all of our games, you can see here that the Cubs are playing in games trending over the line as of late, and the Diamondbacks also over the line, so that's a very strong indication to bet the over, but let's take a look at what the Scores predictor shows. Now, this is interesting here. The scores predictor has it only a 6 to 2 edge for the Diamondbacks, but again, the confidence and prediction, as with all these games so far, most of them anyway today, of only 35%. That should change though, again, as we get closer and closer to game time. Take a look at that. But right now, this is indicating to bet the under and for Arizona. So what I'm thinking right now, though, is I do believe that Arizona will find a way to win at home. The Cubs haven't been playing great either, even though the Diamondbacks are last in the division. I believe that Arizona will win the game, but I would be willing to lean towards betting the under. And the final game we want to look at is a classic matchup between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. Right now, the Red Sox are ice cold down. They have not played well lately at all. You can see that they are just two and four over the last six, right here. Nick Pavetta is scheduled to pitch for the Red Sox, and the Yankees not, have not yet declared their starter. Pavetta is seven and four with a 4.30 ERA, and he has been a very good bet though, at plus $586, so take that into consideration. The Yankees are average status at the moment. They lost their last game and are four and two over their last six. The power ranking indicator shows that the Yankees are at plus 25 and the Red Sox are down at plus 9 on a downward trend. If you're considering the over and under in this one, take a look at the totals predictor. Under the line here for Boston, they've been trending under the line for the last couple of weeks. And the Yankees are trending over the line and they have been steadily over the line. So that makes it hard to tell how to go on this one because they are trending on opposite sides of the line. Well, maybe the scores predictor can give us a better indication. Not really because the confidence of prediction is very low again at just 24.4%. And the Yankees have a 10 to 2 uh, margin of victory according to the scores predictor. Again, it's a very low percentage of confidence. So take that with a grain of salt. Check back as it gets closer to game time for this one as well. The way I feel it's going to happen, though, I really do think that the Yankees will take care of business at home. The Red Sox are just stumbling right now. I believe the Yankees will win at home, and I believe they will cover the line. But I'm not yet ready to say over-under. I would avoid the over-under in this one, but I do think the Yankees will win and cover. So there you have it. Those are all the games for July the 18th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.